Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Eric. If you're new, please subscribe. Today we're going to continue on our winter build by installing an AMS F1 intake manifold for my Evo 9. I had posted a picture of the intake on Instagram and I know some people commented if I was going to go big turbo, but actually I was wanting to use a stock frame turbo and see what kind of gains could be made. First thing we got to do is get the stock intake manifold off and then we can install it anyway. I went ahead and removed the strut tower bar, that way I have plenty of room to get this thing out and be able to work in here. I'm going to start off by removing all the wiring that's on the intake manifold so that way we can get this thing out of here. Last thing that needs to be disconnected on the wire loom before we can set it out of the way is all the injector plugs. So let's go ahead and get those taken off. So I got the wiring harness and also the throttle cable removed and off to the sides. So the next thing up is we're going to remove the fuel rail and fuel injectors. Fuel rail and injectors are out of the way, so now we just need to get the dipstick off and unbolt a few things like that ground, the vacuum line, another vacuum line. Then we'll just unbolt it from the head. With the stock manifold out, now we can install the AMS intake. But, before we do that, I need to have a bracket fabbed up. I bought this thing used, and AMS discontinued it, so it's kind of hard to find parts for it. So I'm going to need to fab up a bracket for this thing in order to mount it up. So check this out guys, this is going to save you a lot of time and headache. Per AMS's instructions for this intake manifold, they recommend removing the studs that are in the head otherwise you're gonna have trouble stuffing it in there so the only thing we have left to do before getting this thing in is install the dipstick and that's about it should be able to get this thing in here oh they also recommend bolting the throttle cable bracket to the intake manifold before bolting the intake manifold to the head
I'm gonna end the video here guys. Uh, I still need to get the bracket made up. I'm just waiting on the fabricator. Also, I'm gonna get my injectors tested and clean before installing them back on the car. I wanna make sure they're 100%. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and also subscribe. I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers this year, so any help I can get from you guys would be much appreciated. Till next time.